Hey, I'm Tynan, and I'm doing a Q&A with Famous Birthdays. Wow, that was great. It was a good start, Tynan. You're doing great. Have you ever seriously considered quitting social media? 24-7. 24-7. If you could take control of anyone's Instagram account for one day, whose would it be and why? Take control of Charlie D'Amelio's Instagram account, and it would just be a video. I would just, all I would post is a video of me doing the renegade. <laughs> If you had to eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would you choose? I would choose, I would choose, uh, one meal. I would choose sushi. I'd probably have, like, a couple Santa Mackey rolls, a couple California rolls. If I was stranded on an island and only take three objects, what would they be? I would take an axe, boat, and a fishing rod. The axe so I can cut down trees. Fishing so I can get food and the boat so I can leave. What advice would you give to your past self? What advice, what advice, what advice? Um, expect the worst and you'll never be disappointed. That's what I would. What advice would I have for someone that wants to be a social media influencer? Okay, here's what you do. Here's my advice. Um, uh, be yourself. I mean, you can, you can fake it till you make it or you can, be yourself. That way you don't have to work twice as hard. Cause if you try and fake a online persona, it's gonna it's gonna slowly eat you alive and then you're gonna question what your what who you are. You're gonna be like, am I this online person or am I this person? And then you're gonna get confused. Yeah, um be yourself. My biggest pet peeve um is eating food with your mouth open. So smacking. I would demonstrate it, but I would hate myself for doing it. So just eat with your mouth closed, please. Favorite video I've ever posted. Um, well, I have a what not to say series and some of them are pretty funny. Some of them. Um, I would say my favorite video is probably in my most viewed video. Not because the, the video itself is great, but it's just because it has 11 million views and I basically call, the video is me saying you're short to whoever's watching the video. So pretty much, I just called 11 million people short. I, I, the content, the video itself is not my favorite part. My favorite part is the idea that I called 11 million people short. And I, <laughs> when did I first go viral? Um, I didn't, um, actually, the first time I went viral is when I got 100,000 views on one of my videos. And when I got 100,000 views, I would usually get like, just a thousand on each video and then one got a hundred thousand views and it blew up and it spread it like wildfire on twitter people downloaded the video posted it, posted it on twitter and started calling me the american um i don't know it was a they compared me to a k-pop star uh i don't know how to say his name but it was like american american I don't know, regardless, is the video blew up on Twitter because, and a lot of people were calling me the American version of a K-pop star. Um, and the funny thing is, A, I don't look anything like the dude that they're comparing me to. B, I'm, I'm not even American, I am Canadian. Who were the first creators I followed on TikTok here, actually? Let me, let me check. Okay, the very first person I follow is Kev Boy Perry. So, um, I, he's, con I'm pretty sure he's like considered an OG TikToker. I don't know why I do this, but he is. Um, I follow Nice Michael, yeah. The guy that always, well, he's nice. His name is Michael and he dances. Frankie's fun. Um, also, um, brother, I don't know, Asaf, Asaf? I don't know how to pronounce his name. Asaf, I think it's Asaf, it might be Asaf. So Frankie, Frankie's fun, Asaf, um, Tyler Funk, um, Adam kind of cool, Adam kind of cool was, you know, Adam's kind of cool. Um, yeah, Will, <laughs> Will Smith. Do you see social media as your long-term career path? If not, what could you see yourself doing? So I'm actually, um, I'm actually in uh, university for visual effects. 
So that's gonna be my like main job, I guess. But I can totally see myself doing uh, social media as a job um, for until I have a mental breakdown. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but it, I, I don't think I would ever put this social media as like a main job. Like it would be more like considered a hobby or like a, a like on the side job, I guess. What's my favorite holiday? Halloween, because I get to scare people and not get arrested. If I could describe myself in four words, what would they be? Funny, tired, competitive, and stubborn. Who are my role models? Well, I... Uh, well, these people that I'm about to say I look up to, but like I'm not completely invested into them directly. Like, like Ryan Reynolds, he's Canadian. He's funny. He's a pretty good-looking guy, if I don't say so myself. Um, Will Smith, Pete Davidson. What would be the one superpower you would choose to have? Okay, okay. I would choose to clone myself, right? Now, here's the thing. If I can clone myself, I can also take out the clones. So if they get any ideas, it's like, boom, do that. I don't want to, boom, you're gone. Um, think about it, think about it. I can clone myself to go to work, to do school, to record videos. I can work multiple jobs and the original me, the real me, guess what I'm gonna be doing? sleeping in my bed right there um so this was my q a with uh famous birthdays um uh you you take care of 